Welcome guys, today we're gonna stretch. So stretching, uh, for those who's a bit stiff, who needs a bit of more range of motion, uh, more flexibility, legs, if you feel stiff, lower back, uh, we're gonna focus on this today. So 15 minutes of stretching, follow along, I'm gonna place a timer and we're good to go. Uh, you go at your pace, don't try to overstretch. Uh, when you feel a tension, when you feel a bit of pain, uh, you know it's maybe uh, the limit you reach in your body. So bit by bit is better than uh, too much. And then you injure your muscle, ligament or tendon and you have to wait uh, before you can get back to it. So nice and gentle, good stretching today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, let's get the party started. I place a timer. All right. First, very simple. We're gonna keep the arms up and go here 90 degrees with the feet. So this is to stretch by the sacroiliac joint. Is the joint here between the sacrum and the iliac bone on the side. If you have any tension over here, it will play with your lower back and top of the bone, you can get a very tight uh, medius gluteus, which is the top muscle here at the bone. Or you can get a tight, even gluteus, the big muscle at the bone, and the lower back. So the quadratus muscle, uh, few muscles in this area can get tight. Okay. Now, we're gonna, only with one leg, squat forward like this and then squat 90 degrees at the back like that. Up, same for the sacroiliac joint. I'm gonna do a few repetitions on the same leg and then do the other leg. I try to reach 90 degrees, feel a good stretch at the front here, at the calf muscle when I'm at the front. This is more like a rehab exercise for lower back and hip. but you can feel a good stretch in your calf muscle as well. Breathe deeply. For example, this exercise helped me a lot back in the days. I used to have a lot of back injuries, many different injuries before I start this job. Now I have enough knowledge to rehab myself and avoid chronic pain or injuries by doing this exercise. 90 degrees, we try to keep like a 90 degrees angle between the feet. 15 seconds for this. We're gonna really tension in the lower back. Perfect. Now we call the windmill. That's something we do in yoga. So not trying to go over stretch. I watch my hand. I go down, staying straight and not leaning forward too much. One, and I go back up, I change. Up, not leaning forward, I stay straight. You can even straighten before you start, like the shoulders at the back. Breathe in, hold your breath, stretch. So my fingers are open. I can do on the fist once I get more flexibility. Or oh, open hands. Oof. It's about the max for me. Okay, that's good for the windmill. Now I place my feet in a line with shoulders. Arms very soft. This is not yoga, but a bit of Tai Chi. Hop. My arms, they're very soft. And I twist my feet each time, a bit like a golf player like that. Good. 
Breathe deeply. Relax your back. Relax your arms. Up to the finger. You want it very soft. again I will breathe in all the way in the line with my heels push the walls feel a stretch in your arms and hands breathe deeply I push like I'm pushing outside to feel a good stretch you see my finger up open Breathe deeply. Sometimes breathing, it's all you need to rehab certain part of your body. And last one. Okay, now we're gonna reverse that move. So palms towards the sky or towards the ceiling. Chest up, shoulders slightly at the back. Stay wide and I cross at the front and then I will cross with the other arms. Very good stretch in the lower back here. As you go to the top, you can feel the stretch in the lower back. If you're a little bit stiff, and then I cross with the other arms. Ten seconds. Very important to keep the palms towards the ceiling and keep your arms straight. Perfect. Now for your neck and trapezius muscle here. I keep my hands like this. Up, and I'm gonna go up and down. One, two. Pushing with my hands down. So shoulders at the back. Up and down. Watch as far as you can at the top, feet straight. Feel a stretch in your neck at the front and then your back. Maybe one side is tighter than the other. That's why we take the time to do it. Perfect. Now I'm gonna just place my hand like this, shoulders at the back again. And I'm gonna go side up, bit lower the, the hands not to squish the cervicals. So I watch slightly at the top like that. And go to the side, one. Slightly at the top, chest up. For example, me, it's very difficult to hold a very clean posture, chest up and shoulders at the back, because I've got a kyphotic back, a kyphosis, which is a, which is a, a round shape at the top of the spine, middle and maybe top. Also have a scoliosis, slight small scoliosis that I'm working on for years now. So I look a bit more straight, but I still have it. And now we finish with circles. So up, open the finger, chest up, shoulders at the back and down. And I'm gonna do some circles. 25 seconds this side, and then we're gonna switch when we reach the middle of the this set. You shouldn't click so much and get ready. We're gonna change, change side, up, big circles. I push with my fingers down, shoulders down, chest up. And this way you shouldn't click so much. If it clicks a lot, try to stay tall, as tall as you can. 
and then do the circle slowly, very slow, and bit by bit. If you're practicing, it shouldn't click so much. Okay, now we're just gonna slap the back like this. One, two, I change. Left hand at the top, right hand at the top. Left hand at the top. I'm slapping the back really to relax. All this muscle at the back and the shoulder. Same, we stay very tall, a bit like a ballet dancer. And slap the back. Very tall, three seconds. Okay. Now we're gonna do a back lunge. We're gonna start stretching the leg a little bit. We got not too far, too long to go. Up, I bring my knee down a bit and come back to the top. Breathe in, bring my knee down, come back to the top. Breathe in, stay both feet in the line, feel a stretch here in the hip. Now I'm gonna watch the sky each time to even see more stretch in the hip. Hoop. I'm gonna watch towards the roof. Feel a good stretch in the quadriceps. For example, I feel a lot more this leg tight than the other. And balancing the muscles, okay. Quadriceps a bit stretched. Now we're gonna stretch the back of the leg, the hamstring. I'll show you this way. One leg slightly bent, the other knee is in line. I try to reach the floor. It's fine if you don't reach the floor. Up, stretch to the top, change leg. Try to balance. Maybe it feels more unbalanced in one side than the other. Tiptoe towards me to feel a stretch in my calf muscle as well. And breathe deeply. Tiptoe towards me, Holy. and breathe. 10 seconds. Very good. Few more. So we're gonna go bouncing. You're gonna try to reach as far as you can at the back with your hands. One, two, three, four, Five, and then come back to the top. Breathe in, hold your breath, reach as far as you can at the back, keeping your legs straight. One, two, three, four, five, and back to the top. One, two, three, four, five, back to the top. One, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, with this hand, I'm gonna slide down this leg. It's up to you. I'm gonna try to reach my ankle. Breathe deeply, two times. Keep your feet flat on the ground and legs straight. Chin inside the chest. And then come back here and the other side. Chin in. And come back to the top after two nice deep breaths. The other side. Come back to the top each time. Feel the stretch in your leg. Last one. And relax. Okay, bonus. Let's do a plank. Here, up. One minute. So we try to pelvic tilt in like this. Not too much curve at the back. 
and we stay there. One, two, three. Feet 45 degrees, pelvic tilting. Good reinforcement of the glutes. So flexi flexibility goes with strength. So for example, strength in the leg. Uh, you can be very flexible if your legs are too weak. So a good plank at the end. Allez, another 15 seconds. And we're good to go. It's gonna be time for lunch for me. Up, got a little stew waiting. Perfect for the winter. With rice, a lot of veg. And relax. Woo. Breathe. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this stretching session. Leave me a comment below if it's useful for you. I'm gonna do a lot more uh, stretching because for me, uh, it helps me a lot. Like I said, many injuries in the past. And uh, when is that case, you have to do a lot of rehab, a lot of stretching and listen your body a bit more and understand your body a little bit more with the bone structure, the muscle structure and all these things. So yeah, hope you feel good. Uh, stay fit and I see you in another video. Bye bye.